Hi everyone and welcome back to Three Layers Deep. Today I actually wanted to talk to you guys about enzymes, which is pretty much an alternative to like any of the acids or acid peels that, um, that you may do or perform on your skin, whether it's professionally or whether it's at home with, you know, over-the-counter products. I know some people just cannot um, use, especially, well, more like towards the sensitive skins, really can't use products that are acid or is a straight up glycolic acid product or lactic acid. So there's other alternatives. Um, but today I'm actually going to be speaking about some enzymes and what enzymes can actually do for your skin. Granted, they're not going to give you the same results. Uh, that a glycolic acid peel would do or a product that contains glycolic acid can do um, the results are going to take a, a little longer than a glycolic acid can because glycolic acids or or any of those acids alpha hydroxy acids they actually work by dissolving the intercellular cement and um, penetrating deeper into the skin at a faster rate so that's where the like the inflammation and the irritation and the itchiness comes from because they penetrate your skin so quick um but when with enzymes they are actually derived from vegetables um so or or here i would say like uh, papaya was which is a fruit as well as um pineapple those are the main or the most popular ones that you may see as well as pumpkin you will see that a lot. Now there's also um, some enzyme peels out there that are cranberry based. All right, so I wanted to talk to you guys about the enzymes and what they do. Okay, enzymes, how they work, they actually um, digest the surface dead skin cells. All right, so they're not gonna cause the irritation that an acid would because an acid literally penetrates and dissolves the intercellular cement, really helping to exfoliate um to a uh like maximum degree i guess you would say now with an enzyme what they help to do it, it's going to do the same thing i would say as a an acid would but with an acid it's going to do really really fast or you'll see results a lot quicker enzymes they kind of help they're a lot there's they are an, a milder form of, of exfoliation but i feel like they do just a bit more than a like a facial scrub all right um these come in like pretty much masks forms and what you do is you just place them on your skin you wash your face like you normally would then you um you know you put it on your skin and it's going to help to pretty much um eat up the surface dead skin cells helping to dislodge any um compacted pores is going to help to really get into um get into the pore pretty much and help to break down any oils that you have on your skin as well as any dirt so after you wash your face it's a lot easier to extract especially around the nose area because you have just removed that surface layer of dead skin cells and i just feel like it helps to open up the pore just a bit more it's also going to help with uh, product absorption all right so pretty much all the benefits that a a um an exfoliator would do except in an enzyme form so um it's going to help to lighten up any like post-inflammatory acne marks it's going to help to brighten up your complexion and to help the ease of those very uh, fine lines that you may have um, I have two products here that I use one is a drugstore one is a high-end now with a high-end is professional use and I actually picked this up at the um, aesthetics convention back in October and I literally use this like a, maybe two to three times a week I pretty much um, I bounce back between both of these and one is the phyto pumpkin enzyme peel and this one is from a and d as you can see a and d and a natural different skincare line this is has 10 percent um of the um pumpkin enzyme in it and when i first apply this it has a tingling effect to it um it smells so so good oh it smells like <sighs> smells like pumpkin pie now seriously i've had this since october i literally use this about two to three times a week and look how much product is still in there this went for 60 bucks i literally spent 60 dollars on this and my husband wanted to kill me but because it's professional grade and really all you need is a little bit 
this has lasted me so long okay so long i cannot believe how long this has lasted me and what well, we're in january so october, mm -hmm. so that's like a few months right there and i mean there's not a week that goes by that i don't use it's at least the least twice a week all right and this can this is a pumpkin enzyme all right now you can't just go out and purchase this specific one right here but there are um like uh i saw this website from i, I think it's my 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 shell skincare line or my my shells instead of michelle it's like my shell and i really 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 want to try that skincare line out um she has cleansers exfoliants um moisturizers but she calls she does have a pumpkin enzyme peel and I, I don't think it's, I doubt that it's professional grade. Um, so it's not going to like be, uh, it's pretty much user friendly. I, do, I think it goes maybe for like 25 or $26. I will put the link to um, her skincare line in the bottom. Um, actually a friend of mine, Casual Luxuries. Hi hon, if you're watching. Um, he actually asked me about the skincare line a while back and so i went to the website and i checked it out i really really fell in love with the products and i actually have that page like that website bookmarked on my computer because i really really want to purchase some products from her it's all natural a bunch of her stuff is pretty much organics um there is no um like parabens in it there's no synthetic ingredients in it it's a pretty much great skincare line and I do want to transition from chemical laden products to natural um, ingredient based products. I do want to make that transition. I'm hoping to do it soon. Um, but yeah, that's neither here nor there. I also use this one. This is I've been using this for pretty much about a year. This was the original packaging as you can see this was the original packaging i mean i kept this to pretty much show you guys um this is the new packaging now with this one this one it actually says bromelain bromelain on it i mean it says bromelain papain um extracts it contains um glycolic acid lactic acid but this is pretty much a milder form now this one contains i feel like it has le like less ingredients than this one this one has look at all those ingredients right here and nowhere do i see bromelain which is pretty interesting because it is a pineapple enzyme mask which it doesn't contain the pineapple enzyme in it i don't i don't know i don't know but it's pretty much still works the same i i still do like it i've been using this for a while now and it's so mild that i actually bring it up under my eye actually i'm gonna tell you a little secret i actually bring this one up under my eye too like just right about this area right here i know that like it's not um maybe it's not the safest thing to do but um i feel like that area also needs to be exfoliated and with this one is great this one's so mild i actually started using i started i started putting it under my eye with this one just to kind of i guess um see if it'll you know if it'll irritate it or anything like that so i pretty much worked my skin up to be able to put this one up under my eye because this is a lot more concentrated than this this is professional grade this is not this is very mild this one this enzyme peel mask um it's going to pretty much do the same thing now granted it's not professional grade but it's going to help exfoliate your skin it's not going to cause any irritations maybe if you have a sensitive condition going on or if you're extremely sensitive then i wouldn't recommend it it does have a tingling effect um but you will kind of it'll kind of dissipate over time because your skin will pretty much be used to it if you're using it for the first time maybe try it you know once a week and then kind of just go up from there but i just wanted to bring this out to you guys this is something that you can definitely check out um or in or any other enzymes most of them contain either papain bromelain um there are some that are pancreatin which are extracted from i'm sorry for like the animal lovers out there or the the, the vegans or the vegetarians or whatever um it is extracted from the pancreas of a, of a bovine or swine i know it sounds kind of gross but those are really good i remember we used to use those at school and they come in a powder form you actually have to mix it with water and make like a somewhat of a thicker consistency and i mean that worked really really well i used to use that 
um, before extracting the client and it really helps to like I said to dislodge uh, like any blackheads and it just makes extraction a lot more easier so this one you can pick up at Walmart and like a, like the pumpkin enzymes you can you know shop around online I will put my shell skincare like I'll put her link in the bottom so you can kind of check that one out and you know everyone needs to exfoliate their skin I feel like an oilier acne skin type needs to do it a lot more frequently than a normal skin type or a drier skin type um, we're all all skin types are going to pretty much benefit from exfoliation you know it helps to boost your hydration levels it helps with product absorption your makeup's gonna lay on your skin a lot better um, and it's going to just pretty much keep your skin healthy you know if you, do, if you don't exfoliate you're pretty much everything you're putting on your skin is pretty much just sitting there nothing is absorbing your makeup's not looking good and um, yeah with exfoliating under the eyes I feel like you know that area definitely needs to be exfoliated and I've been using this it's been working <laughs> and it's not irritating i'm not saying i'm not you know advocating for you to go ahead and do it if you want to try it go ahead and try it i tried it i like it and i'm continuing to do it and i just feel like my eye creams and everything else that i put on my face just absorbs better and so yeah a drier skin type maybe you want like if you're really dry and flaky uh i would start off with something like this very mild i mean this is very mild um but you're going to see a difference over time and you know you don't have to use facial scrubs that can tend to be a little irritating um and you can just leave this on your skin so you can do something like this and then you can put maybe like um some serums on on your skin afterwards like you you know you wash your skin exfoliate then you know whatever else you put on your skin is really gonna absorb it really really well so if you use serums go ahead and apply that and then apply your moisturizer over that or like any like at nighttime if you use any vitamin A containing products I mean really I like this um, it's again it's not irritating like an acid would be um, although acids are really really good you're obviously not gonna get the same result or the uh, the results as quick as you would with a glycolic acid or any acid containing products but my whole point is that there is an alternative and it is milder um, obviously with professional grade there uh, there can be some irritation to your skin if you are more of a sensitive or even just really really dry flaky skin because your skin is not intact it has been damaged um, then it can be some irritation to your skin but an oilier skin type person or a person that is very acne prone and you really can't scrub your skin because it's so inflamed I mean this is definitely the way to go you just put it on and then you wash it off 10-15 minutes later so I think I pretty much covered everything. If you guys have any questions or concerns, you know how YouTube works. And um, yeah, so God bless you guys and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.